Welcome to the Recon Trader. In today's video, I will show you how to configure a Crypto Hopper automated trading bot utilizing TradingView alerts to basically buy and sell utilizing the Ichimoku uh, cloud indicator. Now I have created similar videos and actually I had a really good question from a viewer on the last one when I did Quadensi trading bot and they were wondering why I would deploy a similar bot on Quadensi that I already had set up on Mudrex and the answer was the exchange that I used for Quadensi was not actually available on Mudrex so in that case I used KuCoin uh, because Mudrex did not offer KuCoin they only offered Binance but today I will be using Crypto Hopper to deploy on a Binance exchange and the reality is the reason I'm showing you this and the reality why I create the majority of these videos is for educational informational purposes I don't actually expect you to copy everything I do just because I have Mudrex as a platform Quadensi uh, Crypto Hopper I don't expect you to have all these platforms and be managing them on a regular basis I do this all day long I can manage this if you're only doing this more on a part-time basis you might only have one of these platforms and that's why I show you how to do these configurations on the different platforms so with that all being said let's jump right into the weeds now the first thing I need to do is to set up my Binance crypto hopper bot and in this case I'm going to jump over to the dashboard and I can come down here to config and then base config and my basic settings I've just named it Binance TV for trading view uh, the exchange is Binance I've already put my API keys in from Binance notifications only on when it actually executes a trade is what I select my buy settings I typically want this to be at market which when I go into trading view will actually set that up as well maximum open buy time four minutes on Binance especially because I'll be trading ETH the trades go through instantly maximum open positions 22 I'm only going to have ETH selected as the only coin so the reality is that will be the only coin I have so maximum open positions is actually going to be one per coin and in this case it will only be that one coin and the reason for that is I've tested this strategy on ETH I am doing some back testing on BTC and a couple other coins so if you want to see those results in future videos be sure to subscribe now but for now I'm only going with ETH as I know it's proven to be a winner and with that being said can jump over here to Quadensi and see I set this up a couple days ago on the trading view Ichimoku cross and we entered a trade on the 3rd of October and it is currently up 2% and that's basically an entry right back here where you can see the blue line crossing above the yellow baseline the blue lines the conversion the yellow lines the baseline and it crossed here I actually ended up getting my entry where the cross is right up here this purple line is where my entry is at and you can see the strategy would have sold had the blue line crossed down almost did over in this region but it has since held above and if it continues to hold above in theory we should see this push up and that's where we're at up two percent in a few days I'm happy with that return I've basically not had to touch this and just let it run so back to the configuration only one open buy order per coin the coins and amounts I'm going to be trading USDT as the base currency or the quote currency actually and the only coin I have selected over here is ETH I could add Bitcoin if that one proves out in my back testing uh, but for now it's only going to be ETH and the amount I'm going to let it trade is 
around $135. However, I will force it to trade only $100. Again, when I first deploy something under live fire, I give it just a little bit of ammo. And if it proves itself, I will load it up and let it go. But for now, I'm only going to give it about $100 to trade with. Uh, strategy, I have a signals only. I'm not subscribed to any signals, so this will work because it will actually only be signaled from TradingView. Trailing stop buy, I'm not going to have any trailing stop buy in place because I actually am looking for that to be moving up already. My sell settings, I'll take profit if we reach 30%. Otherwise, the only other time it would take profit is if, when the conversion line starts to move back down below the baseline. Otherwise, we will take profit at 30% if it goes that high. And it did actually in back testing. There was one trade at one point that cashed in for over 30%. So it is possible. Uh, sell strategy. I'm not selling based on my strategy. I'm selling based on the signal from TradingView. Stop loss. Again, my stop loss is when the baseline crosses the conversion line. Now, you need to be careful with that. I can put that type of risk on and that risk can be several percentage points. Uh, so I don't recommend this for just anyone. Also, I'm watching these screens. I've got them all around me. If I saw something I didn't like, I can go in and manually exit. That's a big difference why I tell people don't copy my strategies. Just use them as a guide so you can set up your own strategy. Trailing stop loss. I don't have that enabled again because I'm taking all my profits and everything based on the Ichimoku cloud uh, baseline conversion line. I don't do auto close. This won't be doing short selling and I never dollar cost average on something like this. Uh, so those settings are all ready to go. So I'll, I'll hit save just to ensure that I have those saved. And now I jump over here on the toolbar to the left, the apps page. And I need the trading view you see right here, trading view. And we'll go into the trading view. And this is the app that I'm going to want to use. So I'll need to copy this web hook in order to send the message from trading view over to crypto hopper this is how it will communicate so i'll copy this and now i will jump over here to trading view and from my trading view i just need to make sure i'm doing eth tether usa on the one hour time frame and the binance exchange so that's all correct and the alert tab this little uh, icon is an alarm clock you click on that and the condition is going to actually be the Ichimoku and you will need to have this indicator selected already on your screen which I do you can see right here is Ichimoku and you can do that through the indicators tab up at the top here and I want the the conversion line crossing up so I want this momentum to be moving up through the Ichimoku baseline and so as long as those parameters are met, an alert will go off once per bar is what I select and set a signal over to, not Quadensi, but instead I want to paste in the web hook I copied over from Crypto Hopper, which I've now pasted in. And I'll actually have it trigger where it does an alarm clock so it'll pop up on my screen. And now I need to actually populate the message area here. And so we'll delete what's in there and the message will come from over on Crypto Hopper. So I need to come down to Alert Generator and the hopper is the Binance TV. The coin is going to be ETH. I want it to buy at market. And so I'll generate and there will be the alert it has my hopper id the coin the action is to buy and market order so now we'll come back over to trading view paste that in place and create so that alert now will show up if i click on the little clock over here i have my hopper alert that is now active 
and ready to go. Now I need to do a cell version of that alert as well. So again, I need to click over here on the alert and it's going to be Ichimoku. And now it'll be the conversion crossing down rather than up through my baseline. So previously it was the conversion line crossing up and now I have the conversion line crossing down to sell. So webhook is still the crypto hopper. That's the same, but now I need to create a message for sell. So jump back over to crypto hopper and we want to make it a sell and we generate that. Copy the code, paste it in there and create. So now if I click on my little alarm clock over here, I have the hopper for sell and buy. And I also have these two for quadency as well. Uh, so that will do both my sell. As you can see in the message to the left, it says hopper ID ETH sell. And over there is my hopper ID ETH buy. Those are both active and ready to go. And now we can come back over to crypto hopper and we'll go back to the dashboard and now all that is left to do is to enable the hopper it's now enabled and now we wait for the blue line the conversion line to cross above and in this case it's actually going to have to cross below and then above to get into a position but that's fine i can wait for price action to come to me and that's exactly what i'll do so i'll be doing an update video on how this particular uh, configuration is doing. Also, I'll be having one on the Quadensi and Mudrex. So subscribe now if you want to see update videos. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. And if you like this video, do me a favor, spike that like. And until next time, remember, never send your money into battle without first doing your recon. See you in the next video.